I know this sounds really sad, but I was reading about fish and chips <laughs> and the history of fish and chips. And apparently, it was a guy in in Lancashire. It kills me who kicked off fish and chips and started selling them uh, publicly. But it was talking also about how fish and chips kept the nation enthused and happy during the war. Now, there was an, I read another story about a guy who went to America and thought fish and chips are outstanding. And if it takes off in America, it'd be oh. it'd be global, it'd be huge. And nobody likes fish and Why? chips. It, ne it never took off and just died. And his restaurant stopped selling fish and chips altogether. It still goes, but it just stopped selling fish and chips. Now, rugby league's a little bit like that sometimes, isn't it? It's a great game, and in right areas, uh, it That's explodes. Is, yeah. I, I remember somebody... Um, Tweeting about uh, Eddie Earn, I think said or Barry Earn said that they really enjoyed the time Eddie at Earn. Wembley. It was yeah. Eddie Earn, and uh, really uh, enjoyed seeing Catalan and the whole experience. And somebody underneath put, "Wait till you see what the Australians can do." And there's a part of that thinking, "Yes, wait and see what the Aussies can do." But then you get frustrated. Why isn't it us doing yeah. it? Given that we invented the damn game. Uh, but it just goes to show, rugby league like fish and chips, fish and chips in the right place is like gold dust and other times it isn't. We haven't always got the answers, but hopefully this week with the French doing what they've done, uh, it'll pick up and rugby league will it'll grow quick some more.